Welcome back to Old School Gamers Channel, guys. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Leo Bodner lag test device. We'll also be looking at the 240p test suite, which I did in a previous episode, and we talked about the input lag, but the Leo Bodner device specifically addresses video lag. So I'm going to use both of these devices to see just how much lag I'm getting on my TV. I highly recommend doing this to all your TVs in the house because you're going to get some interesting results and you're going to be able to see which TVs are the best for gaming and which ones are just better left for movies and whatnot. And don't forget to like and subscribe guys and with that let's dive in and see what we find. Okay, so for the first test, I got the game mode turned on, and I got the Leo Bodner plugged into its HDMI source. You gotta make sure you got your batteries in there, of course. And we're gonna go ahead and do my first test. So, game mode on, all you gotta do is push the button, and you'll see the flashing squares pop up in each of the corners, uh, or each of the sides. So, on the top one, that's gonna be the fastest, that's at 3.1. Middle one, it came in at about 11.2, looks like. Let's move down to the bottom one. And the bottom one's going to be about 19. So from top to bottom, it's going to be the fastest to the slowest. So the Leo Bodner device is very simple. Basically, it's sending an HDMI video signal, and it you know starts the stopwatch, and then it has a photo sensor on the bottom, and it detects when it actually sees that signal, measures the time between the two, and voila, it has a number of milliseconds between when it sends a signal to your TV and when your TV is actually able to produce that signal on the screen and that's what we call video lag so you know for my TV it looks like it's averaging as we're looking back at the same video again about 11.2 seconds you know that's the middle of the screen uh, total lag which is just under a frame not bad not bad at all actually okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my external device manager turn game mode off and let's just see how much of an effect game mode actually has on video lag not just input lag remember this is video lag video lag is also caused by if you're running emulators or things like that you know they could slow it down a little bit uh, even the SNES and NES classic like that 71.5 millisecond millise oh my gosh 79.9 are you serious 88 wow that's some serious serious video lag now let's take a quick review. So for the video lag game mode on, we had 11 milliseconds, which is about a half a frame, just over half a frame. Game mode off, we had 81 milliseconds. That's almost five frames. All right, so now you know how to use the uh, Leo Bonner device in measuring video lag. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the 240p test suite and test the other part of the lag problem, which is input lag. Now the 240p suite uh, test suite does come with a high speed uh, lag tester that you can use. Uh, if you have a camera that you can do frame by frame which is really awesome I don't have a camera that can do that so I'm going to use the manual lag test which is not as accurate but let's give it a shot and see what we get so we're going to do the manual lag test and basically there's going to be a sprite that moves up and down uh, it's going to give you 10 chances uh, and it's going to take an average of the number of frames you know between when you hit the button and when these sprites are actually on top of each other and since this is a cartridge which is midway between both the input device and the television it can easily measure that and give you some feedback. Now of course this has to deal uh, or has to take into effect of human input so there's a little bit of error in there but for the most part you know it's not bad. So for the first test we got 10.2 milliseconds which is about half a frame uh, which is pretty close to what we were getting on the Leo Bodner device um, you know for just straight video lag which is kinda interesting. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and turn off uh, game mode and see just how much you know delay I'm getting now you know in my input lag uh, into uh, the video uh, for the 240p test suite to measure. So it's looking pretty bad actually. Five frames, seven frames, five, seven, four, yeah. It's looking pretty bad. So that's probably gonna be about 80, yep, there it is, 80.73 milliseconds. That's four and a half frames of lag. So I mean, wow, look at these results. Between the 240p test suite, you know, for input lag test and Leo Bodner video lag test, I'm surprised that the numbers are so close it's it's almost like they're measuring the same thing so I was not expecting that I thought the input lag test was only testing the input from the controller into the device and not all the way up to the screen and the Leo Bodner was specifically I do know that that is specifically doing the video lag test but if anyone can clarify in the 240p test suite on why these numbers are so close you know I'd be very interested to hear but interesting results guys 
So that's it for today. I mean, the 240p test suite and of course the Leo Bodner video lag test are very interesting tools. You know, the Leo Bodner I really like because you can just run around from TV to TV and just plug it up and instantly be able to tell whether or not this TV is even good enough to play games on or not. You know, the input lag test on the 240p test suite is also very interesting because it allows you to test uh, the input lag and it appears to be testing video lag as well, which I was very surprised on. Um, but I did not expect that much of a match, but it was almost exact. Anyway, uh, comment below, you know, let me know what you think, if these two are compatible or if they're comparative, you know, if there's something I'm missing. But anyway, the test results are very shocking to me, but also very interesting. So I'm always open to learn. Uh, so just comment below and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the next video, guys. See you.